Hi and welcome to this week's broadcast. It's uh, lovely to see you all. It's lovely to be here with you again. Tonight we're talking all about the subject of self-love, which, I mean, it, 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 we, it's we, uh, it's, I'll start again. The self-love kind of weaves through all of our teachings and it's... I think, a, I think you could call it one of the... Foundational. The foundational, the yeah. core, the core stuff yeah. that you've yeah. got to think about. And so we've had some great questions and comments <clears throat> from our Facebook community group. Um, and I want to start with a fantastic question we've had. Um, we'll kind of dive into this. Can you truly love someone else if you don't love yourself, David? <laughs> yeah. Great start. Well, I think before I answer the question, yeah. I'm not avoiding the question. I'm going to come okay. back and answer the question. I think you've got to understand the definition of what you mean by love. Okay. Now, from my Taoist perception, love is a feeling, a green light feeling. It's a sensation. It's an emotion. So if you go back to the basic teaching, all emotions are created by you. They're created by what you believe and what you think. Yeah. So can you love someone else? Can you create that feeling for someone else? Yes, of course you can. Yeah. Whilst not creating that feeling for you. So in the simplest answer is yes, you can love someone else mm. whilst not loving you. But I would ask, <laughs> why aren't you loving you? But I mean... I guess it, if you can love someone else uh, truly and not love yourself, does it, if you don't love yourself, does it affect the quality of your ability to, or the quality of the love that you give to your partner or your husband or your wife? Well, my, well, my question is, why are you making the definition between loving someone else, your partner, okay. your wife, and choosing mm -hmm. not to love you because at the end of the day, this is a choice. Yeah. Okay. You are doing it. So this is the Wu Wei method that I would work with my clients because we come on this a lot. This is a really big issue. And it goes back to a teaching um, that we'll talk about later called Qiang, self-nurturing, nurturing yeah. yourself. So you are making a choice. So most people will love somebody else and, okay. and value them, but they choose not to love okay. themselves. So it's, it's okay for them to receive my love and I really want to give them my love, but I choose not, I choose not exactly. to love me. And, and that's the fundamental. So is it actually, would you say it's, it's harder to make that distinction rather than just to be as equally loving to yourself as it is to your partner? Well, I think, and here's where we get a bit technical, I think <laughs> okay. it's a choice that you're making, yeah. but you've been making it for so long, most mm -hmm. people will mm -hmm. use the word habit. Okay. Now, remember, a habit is just a choice that you've set on default. So stop using the word habit okay, so if you... and think about a choice. Why yeah, yeah. are you choosing to love your partner, yeah. but choosing not to love you? And then you can do the golden thread. Why? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Why are you yeah. doing that? So the answer to your question directly is yes, you can. You can choose to love someone else and not choose you. My question would be, why would you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Why would you make that definition uh, and for loving them and not loving you? Okay, I want to come back to this thing about the quality of the love mm -hmm. because I kind of instinctively feel that if you or instinctively believe that if you if you don't love yourself fully that the quality of the love that you can give out to someone else is not as authentic or pure and perhaps the quality of the love that you uh, create as, as a partnership together and have as the energy of the love and relationship isn't as good I know we shouldn't say good or bad or pure or impure but am I right in thinking that that there no, is, a, there I, I is think, a difference I think I would have a different opinion okay. on that. so it goes back to the fundamental I started off yeah. with if we do this with you for a second yeah. how are you defining love what is love to you okay so for me um I think of love as obviously as a feeling right. as you say but I it's also an emotion. think it's an emotion yeah and do you create mm. the emotion Yes, I do. But can I, I just want to say that I also think of love as um, 
as an act, as a as a kind of a giving of an energy. And you know, choosing. my ability to love. When I say I love somebody, it's also it is the emotion and the feeling, but it's also the action of loving someone and what's involved in that. And so you're cho- you're choosing to do to do to do that. You are choosing to do that action. It's your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great. It feels great to make that choice okay. to love someone. If <laughs> you. So if you wasn't doing that yeah. for you, yeah. the question would be, why are you not yeah, yeah. making that choice for yeah. you? It's like, do, uh, I've got like a, a big, massive bowl of delicious porridge and I'm quite happy to give it out to lots of other people, but I'm good, really being mean about doling no, well, it out for is, myself. This is a good yeah. example, actually, yeah, yeah, Alex. Yeah. How many times do people, using your analogy mm-hmm. of porridge, I don't yeah. know who eats porridge <laughs> now. Yeah, I do. do I? Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah. But say you've got a big bowl of porridge yeah. and five people and you dish out five yeah. servings and leave none for yourself. Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you put well, them ahead of This is what I'm going to comment to because you. Uh, a lot of people in the group have commented that, I mean, <laughs> I think... Recently, this concept of self-love has been uh, talked about quite a lot, um, almost as much as the kind of the concept of mindfulness. And I think a lot of, I think some people are still stuck on the on with the principle that oh, self-love is selfish. Well, well, I can I stop yeah. there because I think, from more my experience, this is one of the main beliefs mm-hmm. because I was that person. Yeah. I was brought up in a Christian home, went to a Christian school, and I was taught directly mm-hmm. that you put others in front of you. Yeah. This was a direct teaching, not anything uh, that kind of was covered up. It was told to me yeah. directly, you must put others in front of you. A rule of, of the household. A rule yeah, okay. of my life. This is, yeah. I was taught this. And I believe that this is incorrect teaching. Yeah. I believe that you, you love yourself so you can love others. Mm-hmm. It's a flow of energy. And this is the Taoist teaching of and Chan. And you goodness. should not yeah. be manipulating that flow. Can I give you the Taoist mm. teaching? This was a, a wonderful teaching given to me by Master Wan, as my, as my master, when he was giving me this direct teaching about loving yourself, Chang, and self-love and, lo- uh, and loving others. He said to think about it like breastfeeding a child. If you see a mother breastfeeding the child, the first thing the mother does is to be careful about what she's eating Mm. and drinking. She nurtures herself so she can nurture the child. And if you think about it that way, that if you let the love flow through you, you then have enough to flow through to everyone else. So it has to come through you First, but this principle of flow is so important because it's not like, oh, I'm giving myself lots of self love, therefore I can't give it to anyone no, else. No, you can give more. It's almost like the what you're talking about. This flow of energy it energizes you so that you can then give more to others. So it's almost like a, a multiplic a multiplication Absolutely. of the energy. So going back now, this is why yeah. I said the first question was a great question. A bit complicated okay. <laughs> to explain. So if you're choosing to love someone else mm-hmm. and not love yourself, to me, oh, crikey, this is going to be a harsh word, mm-hmm. but I'm going to use it. This is a manipulation. Mm-hmm. You're not allowing the natural flow of the chi energy of yeah. love to flow through you and out. Mm-hmm. You're doing some kind of a nip- manipulation yeah. to get a validation yeah. from that person for them to love you, so mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. they make you feel better yeah. where you should be doing yeah. that. This is what self-love is. And this is like, um, <clears throat> it, it, I guess it's the human condition, it's the human-centered mind that makes what is a natural cycle and natural flow that you can, I guess, observe in everything, every in everything. animal, plant, every kind of item in the universe is part of this flow in this cycle which happens naturally and it's only the human centered mind or the 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 ego is the kind of common term that steps in and tries to fiddle around with it um and manipulate it and and alter this flow well you're right you see it in birds when they're feeding you see well we've just gone over this so they they feed their 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 chicks but they also feed themselves so they look after themselves so they can look after the chip chicks and so it's a it's the process that 
it, it's the mind, the human centered mind, the ego that steps in and complicates this matter. Yeah. So it goes back to the original question. If you love your partner, why is it you choose not to love you? Yeah. And that goes down. You have to do the golden thread. Why, 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 why? And that will go take you down to one of the three lies. I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. I have no value. I'm unlovable. I, have, I can't cope. It will take you down to one yeah. of those three lies. So let me give you the three lies. I'm not good enough. This is a lie. I can't cope. I can't manage. This is a lie. I have no value. I'm unlovable. Mm -hmm. This is a lie. So if you've got any of those lies. You've got to then... clear up those. Ask yourself why. Yeah. Remember what I always say for those of you who come to the retreats. I say, I disagree with you. <laughs> I think you are lovable. In fact, yeah. I go even more. I think you are awesome. Yeah. Prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Yeah. And what do you normally get? Somebody says, well, I've made a mistake. Yeah. We all make mistakes. That doesn't make you unlovable. But Stop it. it. If, you, if you choose, and again, it's choosing, if you choose to allow those lies to dictate your your thoughts, your words, your actions, then you will start this mani manipulation game of the energy of love and how how you you dole love out and, uh, you know, whether you let the love fro flow through mm. you or push it away from you and expect others to give it to Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. You're looking for them to reinforce. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's almost like there's a piece of you missing and you're looking yeah. for someone else to, to put that into you. Can I give you another yeah. one that I normally get? I get this a lot. Is because they say that they wasn't loved by their parents mm -hmm. or in their childhood or um, they wasn't yeah. loved in the way that they should have been loved or parents had a difficulty in, lo in loving them. So again, this is about the thoughts. So what are they saying? Because their parents didn't love them or love them in the way that they should have mm -hmm. been loved, now they're going to choose not to love them as well? Well, I think the, the kind of, again, we've had lots of comments on this in the group. And I think the position on that is I, when I was young, I was made to feel or made to believe that I wasn't worthy of love. I believe that. So now I, as an adult, I'm still believing that. Therefore, I don't think I'm worthy to be give myself self-love so it's almost like you know it's this hard hard wiring or this perception of a hard wiring of the belief that belief into into the brain and how do how how do you overcome that well a lot of people will use those terms yeah. hardwired you're yeah. not hardwired you're not yeah think about it because somebody told you that or because they practiced that as a child I'm very mm. sorry I wish it hadn't have happened but it did happen for you. And if it happened for you, then do not carry it on. Mm -hmm. What they did was wrong, yeah. incorrect. Yeah. They shouldn't have done yeah. it. So why are you carrying on an action that is wrong? It's almost like you, they pass the baton to you. And drop you it. now as an drop adult, you're don't still take treating. The yeah. Yeah, don't take the button. Don't take the button. And this is when yeah. people laugh at me when I give you this teaching. It's so important. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it now. Don't carry it on. It was a bad teaching. Yeah. Whatever the reason, those parents, carers, teachers, whatever reason that that was their reason. Yeah. It's not your reason. And, Stop and it often, now. And often, in terms of what their reason was, often it's because they didn't love themselves. Exactly. It's their and inadequacies. They, it's not upbringing. yours. Yeah, exactly. It's so it's yours. almost like, don't this parcel, if you like, this parcel of misunderstanding about how divine and wonderful and, and lovable you are has probably been passed down from one generation to Absolutely. the next. And now, I mean, this is this is your chance to say enough. Well, I am now going to parent myself. I'm now going to parent my inner child in a way that I know is is truthful and authentic and loving and, and what I deserve, I guess. Well, using your analogy, mm. you're playing pass the parcel. Don't, don't yeah. take the parcel. Yeah, drop the parcel. Drop the parcel. <laughs> drop the parcel. You don't yeah. want yeah. it. Yeah. It's not good. It's not going to nurture you. It's not yeah. going to help you. And if you take that parcel, you may pass it on without realizing it to other generations. Yeah. Teach your children how to love themselves by you loving okay. themselves. 
We as children learn by example. Nurture yourself. Look after yourself. Take care of yourself. This is not selfish. Mm. This is self-fulfilling. This is really giving such a great example to those around you yeah. that how you nurture yourself. Okay, so, I mean, again, lots of our clients come to us and they say, well, where do I begin? I've never, I've never done this before. I, you know, I can see I've been going wrong. I want to start doing it, but literally, how do I begin to practice self-love for myself every day? What well, practical well, things can the, people do? Well, it's the Wu Wei method that yeah. we keep on talking <laughs> about. First of all, separate the emotion from the belief or the thought that created it. So if we're talking about love and you agree with me, that's an emotion. Mm -hmm. Think about what you have to believe or what you have to think to create the emotion of love. What, for yourself. For anybody. How do you love your partner? What is it? You look for their greatest assets. You look for what turns you on about them. You look for their good side. So, it's, it, so what you're talking about is like personal reflection about your own qualities Absolutely. now. So you're not talking about a practice. Absolutely. You're not saying, well, self-love is making sure you go to a yoga class once a week or making sure you eat well, healthy. Well, it, it is I'm, those I'm things. going before that. Before, I'm going to okay. the root. So, so I'm going for what mm -hmm. is it that you really value about yourself? And this is yeah. why you can't lie. Okay. This is why, yeah. because m many of my clients, when I ask them that question, they go, well, I'm not good enough. And then say, well, prove it to me. And yeah. they go, I can't. Yeah. Don't do that. What you say, you're not perfect. No one's perfect. Mm. So look for your best qualities and start to love that about your best qualities. Mm. So if you're, I don't know, good at art, if you're a good mother, if you're a good partner, mm -hmm. if you're a good provider, start to think about the positive okay. sides of you and value the positive sides okay. of you. Don't keep looking for the negative sides of you. You don't. So it's about do self talk. That. Well, you don't do that with your partner. You don't sit there and think, <laughs> now, what do I hate about her? What really gets on my yeah. nerves? Let's yeah, yeah. focus on but that. But we do that about ourselves. But don't it's we? crazy. It's, I mean, Stop it. I mean, that's, I mean I'm, I'm laughing. But our self talk can be that, like, like. Cruel. It's really cruel. cruel. It's cruel. Yeah, it's cruel. it's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and this is why as someone said as in as in the group, they don't like the word. They think the word of lying is a harsh yeah. word. It's not a harsh word, it's a true okay. word. Yeah. Be more consistent about you. Look, if if I'm the only one to tell you, here's some news. You are not perfect. Yeah. You won't get everything right. Human beings only yeah. learn by making a mistake. Don't focus on your mistake. Use them as lessons to learn, to grow, to mature, yeah. to be the best that you can be. Focus on your successes. Focus on the times you've done something brilliant. If you can do it, pat yourself <laughs> on the back and say, well done. Yeah. You know, you're doing the best that you can do. And when you make a mistake, go, hmm, now what have I got to yeah. learn from and that? Don't, don't do the same go mistake into again. autopilot of... Uh, be negative. So, okay, so self-love begins with being honest. being honest and truthful and uh, reflecting on your own qualities, right. watching yourself talk, learning from your mistakes, learning from your mistakes. Right. And then, now, can I oh, just, yeah. just, just say, <laughs> now, so many of you out there are into your feelings. They, you love your emotions. You want to keep on talking about, I feel this, I feel that, I feel that. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. This is where I would just use red, green light feelings. If you're getting a red light feeling about yourself, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. Can, I, can I make it more yeah. clear than that? Stop it. Yeah. Go back to the thought and think about, is this thought the truth? I will mm -hmm. tell you it's mm -hmm. a lie. Mm -hmm. So how you do this for yourself, if you want to use your feelings, when you think about yourself, create green light feelings, joy, bliss, Love, yeah. happiness, flow, flourishing. Do that about yourself. Okay. So, I mean, what I guess uh, green light feelings about anything to do with yourself or your life or your capabilities or your qualities equals self-love. Red light feelings about anything to do with yourself, your life, your qualities, your capabilities is self-loathing zone. It's so, beating yourself yeah, up. So that's it's self-sabotaging. Kind of yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Okay. 
and and I've got to be honest, think about it when you listen to this video. Isn't it so much easier to beat yourself up? Mm. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it yeah. now. I can't be more precise. It's wrong. It's not true. You are awesome. If you do not think you're awesome, then write it below this and tell me why you're not awesome. Tell me why you're not good enough. Tell me why you can't cope. Tell me why you don't value yourself. Sit down and construct that. And don't write and say, well, I've made mistakes because we've all made, made mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. We all have to make a mistake. And you have to be this direct, harsh. I don't know what the word is. Well, you have to be it's this, this clear. It's firm, loving, self-discipline because... and and and. From what you're saying, this is an ongoing practice of self-love throughout every day. So it's not necessarily about carving out an hour here or no, an hour there. No. And of course, self-love is it's, is it's, about doing me the meditation, doing the yoga class, having a you, nice bubble if bath. If that's for you, if uh, that's for you. But, you know, for people who haven't got time, then it's about just... So so I would say, this is, this is another yeah. thing I yeah. hear... Oh, I'm so busy yeah. uh, looking after my home, yeah. looking after the children, uh, cleaning the house. Yeah. I haven't got time for me. What? So you put cleaning the house over you? Yeah. This is crazy. Put some dust on your house. In fact, yeah. turn the bin over and go <laughs> and have a bath and enjoy the bin being over in your kitchen. You're making some choices there. Yeah. Clarify your choices. Get your priorities Get right. Get your priorities right. You should be flowing through you. Yeah. So you've got time. You've got time to clean the house. You've got time to dust. You've got time to get the vacuum cleaner out, but you haven't got time for you. Mm -hmm. This is a nonsense. Well, I mean, a lot of a lot of what you've just said in terms of the main practice of self love can can be done because it's a mental thing. It's a mental processing thing, and that can be done while you're doing all the other stuff that we have to get done. So I've got time day. to yeah. talk about this. So something like uh, cooking. Yeah. You can cook mindfully. You can cook, put some nice music on. You can be mindful. And really of enjoy and it. And really yeah, yeah. enjoy it. So as you're cooking, <laughs> you can also get some yeah. benefit for yourself. Now, I'm not too sure because you do the cleaning, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you could do the same with the cleaning. The only one I would doubt is iron, uh, is ironing. Yeah, well, that's I don't know how laugh. you could get any that's joy from ironing. That's because it did come to my mind, the ironing. <laughs> Although we have got a lady who no, says no. she really enjoys yeah, yeah. ironing. Yeah, I don't get much self-love from <laughs> to do the ironing. Um, but I, I, you know, joking aside, I, I do do it in such a way that I kind of enjoy it as much as possible. Yeah. And I, I switch the radio on. I, I enjoy listening to the radio for that hour. And actually, you know, it's an, it's an hour or so away from my computer, from my emails, from watching rubbish on the television, you know. So in, in some well, respect, it's a self-love practice. Well, we're just putting together a breathing course on Taoist breathing techniques. Yeah. So doing your ironing would be a fantastic time yeah. to practice your breathing. Yeah. Yeah. So again, you see, you've got to think about it. You've got to be a bit more creative mm -hmm. in your thinking mm -hmm. here. So, you know, use your time well. Uh, and uh, especially you ladies, because you're supposed to be good at multitasking, aren't you? Is that the yeah. truth? No comment on that. <laughs> no comment on that. Well, um, we've only really scratched the oh, surface yeah. on self-love here. So as per usual, if you've got any comments or questions, post or email them to us and we'd be very happy to answer them for you. Uh, we're going to take a much greater deep dive into the subject of self-love uh, in our autumn retreat in Derbyshire this year at the end of September. So uh, I'll, I'll put the details below for that and everyone is very welcome to join us if you want to spend the weekend marinating in, in David's teachings on self-love and the well, Taoist teaching. I'll probably put you off today. And, I'm going to be shouting at you. Stop it. Um, but anyway, we'll see you next week. Thank Take you. care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.